literally not even getting sued. I made this entire scandal up. There is literally not one bit of truth to anything I have said. I just tricked the entire world into talking about me again because I was on a lot of Adderall and bored. 2021 might just end up being the worst year of Kim Kardashian's life in many aspects because even before entering this year, she was having relationship issues with her husband Kanye West as well as having a major blow to her status on TV because her family show Keeping Up With The Kardashians was confirmed to be ending in 2021. But then, not even a week into 2020, she went and found herself in the middle of a scandal via rumors on the internet. We'll break it all down for you, but first, do me a favor, be sure to subscribe. Let's get started. Number five, the affair allegations. So let's jump right into it. This started on January 6th when a TikTok influencer named Ava Louise made some scandalous statements by noting that Kim K's husband, Kanye West, was having an affair with a male YouTube star, specifically a beauty guru known in the scene for a while. The clip is captioned as such. I can't say who, cause he'll sue me, hint hint, but it's part of the reason Kanye's so religious now. It's his self-hatred. My source is legit, I promise. Of course, a disclaimer was provided in a second post, which states, this is alleged and I was told by a source. A very good one. But it made so much sense to me. Kanye's possible internalized homophobia is so, so sad. Her source? In the comments, she provided an answer. My friend is a big lawyer in LA and met with Kim months ago and was told all of this given evidence. I want to drop receipts, but I can't, says Ava. Deductive reasoning led many to believe that Jeffrey Starr was the noted person in the report from Ava Louise. This led to much speculation until it was finally cleared up. Number four, Star's denial. Thankfully, it only took a day for things to get cleared up, as Jeffree Star himself went and decided to clear the air, as it were, in a big way. I woke up and my phone was blowing up, and I'm like, oh my god, what in this scandal is going on today? I honestly had no idea, right? I'm keeping to myself, I'm living in this beautiful state, I'm loving life. Jeffrey, who is currently living in Casper, Wyoming, said he got a million texts, phone calls, and inquiries from news outlets about the rumors. He then explicitly shut down accusations that he has slept with Kanye. I'm single, I'm not sleeping with anyone, he revealed. I like very tall men. Me and Kanye have never hung out, and this whole thing is really funny. So on the front, everything got shot down, and Star even poked fun at the people making the rumors and those that believed it. What about Kim's response? Number three, Kim's fury. For the first day or so, neither Kim K nor Kanye West replied to the scandal rumor. One could interpret that as them trying to save face while they went and figured out what to do and say. However, with Star's denial and things seemingly cooling down, Kim Kardashian went on a warpath and is making sure people pay for what the couple went through in the days of the scandal. Hours after she posted the first video, Ava Louise then told her TikTok followers that Kim Kardashian has allegedly slapped her with a lawsuit. So I had to make an emergency visit to my shopper's office to get an outfit for court because Kim Kardashian's literally suing me, Ava claimed. Like, thanks, I needed an excuse to shop anyway, bring it on. Some might argue that this is a bit of an overreaction, but considering the stakes and the fact that this is a Kardashian, not so much. Plus, just on a personal level, she's got a lot on her mind and the last thing she needs is a bonehead like Ava Louise going and making accusations that aren't true. What else is going through her mind? Well, number two, the potential divorce. One of the reasons that the scandal story had such legs was that the day before the incident was revealed, it was also revealed that Kim K and Kanye might be getting a divorce. Sources confirmed that West had been living at their home in Wyoming in recent months, while his wife stayed in California with their children. They've been living separately for the last few months, a friend of Kardashian West told CNN, but requested anonymity due to the sensitivity of the situation. They have been in marriage counseling and have discussed divorce. It's on the table. Divorce is something that has been discussed off and on for the past year, but Kim has not wanted to move forward on that. The second source said, there is no drama or contentious relationship. The individual added, they are amicable and fully aligned when it comes to the kids. Obviously, that last statement changed it a bit because of the scandal, but with that rested, she can move on to real things. Number one, you have to admit, in this case, it's very easy to sympathize with Kim Kardashian. She just had her potential divorce plans revealed, and then a fake scandal almost painted her husband and her in a very weird light. There's only so much that a person can endure all at once, so her suing Ava Louise is a very fair response to all that has happened. Let's just hope her 2021 goes a little smoother from here on out. Though, considering she's a Kardashian, we doubt it. But with that being said, there you have it everyone, a look at Kim Kardashian and how she's reacted and handled the news of the scandal that she's involved in and what she plans to do to make sure that something like this never happens again. Can you believe the 2021 that Kim K is already having? Do you think that this will only get worse for her? Do you think that things will turn around for her as a whole? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.